video is on prime numbers. How do we find prime numbers? I'm using an algorithm or method developed by Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes created this, I mean, you talk in ancient Greek, so that's why it's known as the sieve of Eratosthenes. Now the way he does it, he, um, you can find prime numbers up to 100 or as big as you want to and it's by process of elimination. So the first thing we do, we start with 1. Is 1 a prime number? As far as we, you know, prime numbers are numbers that are divisible by 1 and also itself. Well, the definition of prime number is that it has to be greater than 1. So therefore, zero, 1 is not a prime number, 0 is not a prime number, negative numbers are not prime, like negative 5, so these are not prime numbers. So I'm going to eliminate 1, okay? 1 is not in the list. The next thing, I will check out 2. Well, 2 happens to be a prime number, and 2 is the only prime number that is even. Because 2 is divided by 1 and 2 is divided by 2. So I'm going to leave 2 out. Then I will eliminate all multiples of 2 or any number that is divisible by 2 ends in 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0. So I'm going to look at the numbers that end up in 2. And then 4, see this is 4. Uh, 6 is there, 8 is there, 0, so take those numbers. Uh, 2, okay, 4, 6, 8, and 0. Okay, 2, so these are all end up in 2, so I'm going to eliminate those. These numbers are divisible, I mean, end up in 4, so that means they're divisible by 2, I'm going to eliminate. They end in 6, so I eliminated all of these numbers. So F for 8, so it ends up in 8, so I eliminate those. And then these one end up with 0, so I'm going to get rid of those. So basically, those we have eliminated the numbers that are not uh, divisible by 2, so therefore they're not prime. Okay, so then, the next part. I'm going to take 3. Well, 3 is a prime number, because 3... Is, is divisible by 1 and is divisible by itself. So therefore 3 is a prime number. Then I'm going to uh, and skip count by 3. So 3, next number is 9. Uh, 6, sorry, I eliminate 6. We've already done that. 9 uh, by 3. So 9, 9 by 3, that's a 12. 15, 18, 18 and 21. Okay, 21 plus 3, 24 plus 3, which is 27 plus 3, that's 30. And 30 plus 3, which is 33, plus 3, which is 36, 39. And uh, 39 plus 3, which is 42, 45, uh, 48. Okay, so I got 48. And uh, plus 3, that's 51. Get rid of that. Uh, plus 3, which is 54. Okay, 48. Alright, so that's 51. Uh, 50, 51 plus 3, which is going to be 54. 57. And uh, plus 3, that would be 61. Plus 3 would be 64. 67, 70, 73, 76, and 76, 79, and plus 3, that would be uh, 82, plus 3 would be 85, 80, uh, 88, and uh, 91, 80, so that would be 91. 94, 97, and 100. So we got rid of all the numbers that are um, divisible by 3. Then, 4, we're going to skip count by 4. So 4 would be 8, and 
that would be 12, that would be 16, uh, 20, so we've gone through that. And then how about 5? When I look at 5, I'm going to skip count by 5. 5, 10, so 5 is a prime number, since 5 is divisible by 1 and itself. So leave 5, then skip count by 5, since 5 is a prime number. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. So far we eliminated those. Okay, 6. Let's skip down by 6. So 6, that would be 12. Okay, we took out. 18, we took out. 24. Uh, 30, 36, uh, 36, uh, 42, so we went through that. Okay, then 7, I'm going to skip, so 7 is a prime number, it's divisible by 1 and itself. Now, let's go ahead and skip count by 7. 7 would be 7, and then 14, um, so that would be 21, 28, okay. 35, uh, 38, uh, 28 plus 7, that would be 20, uh, uh, 35, so 36, okay? And, and plus 7, 41, so 41 there, no, so 37 plus 7, which is 34, uh, 44, so that's taking care of 51, Okay, 58, so we went through the rest. Okay, then 8, skip down by 8. So 16, you keep adding 9. We've already, so basically I've got rid of most of the numbers. So whatever is left is going to be my prime numbers. So I'm going to include, so, so therefore 2 is a prime number. Leave it there. Four is gone. It's crossed out. Six is crossed out. Eight is crossed out. Nine, ten is also crossed out. Okay, twelve is crossed out. It's not a prime. I'm leaving out all. Fifteen is crossed out. Sixteen is crossed out. Eighteen is crossed out. And twenty. So, all, so I'm just getting rid of all the numbers that we crossed out. So therefore. I can go through this whole uh, set of numbers that we crossed out. And then, you know, um, luckily I can just write these out. The ones that are left, which are the ones that I haven't crossed out. So, you know, these are, these are gone. So what's left? Now, the only numbers that are left here are the prime numbers. So if you look back to 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. Then you got 23, 23, here is 23, and therefore 29, okay, I got rid of this one. 29, um, 31, okay, so 31 is there. Eliminate 33, we crossed it out, 34, we crossed it out, 35, 37 is a, 37 is a prime number, 38, we cross those out, 39 and 40, we cross those out, 41 is a prime number, 43, 44 is not, 45 is not, 47 is, 50 is, uh, 49 is a prime number, okay, so, so when I got to I eliminated uh, 47, I did eliminate 49, forgot to cross it out. Okay, so, so this is my complete set of prime numbers. So just to make sure I can clear all this up. So the ones that are being crossed out. And, and so this is my, okay, I can do it this way quicker. Okay, so this, anything that's divisible by two, so those are all gone. And these are 61, 91, 
and these numbers like 62, 72, 82, they end up in 2 and okay. So there, whatever is left out that I haven't crossed out is those are my, my prime numbers and I listed them at the bottom. These two are prime. So, and, uh, so this is the whole idea of the sieve of Aristophanes. Aristophanes, this is Greek, ancient Greek, you know, a long time ago. So this is, was created, okay? So, and as you can tell, I mean, prime number is a very, very important number, you know, session. And um, that's it. So that's the idea of the sieve of Eratosthenes. And thank you for watching.